Hey. <clears throat> Hi, guys. Hello. Can you hear me? I can. I have my new hearing aids in. So um, I can hear you really good. <laughs> right. Thanks for recording. I don't know if Carla told you she's got to head out at about 3, was it 320, 330? Okay. Um, then, Carla, if you want to start, um, unless, there, unless I should just jump into things, let me know if there's any questions you have. Uh, since you're connecting, uh, Bruce, I've been working mostly on your main website, HudsonPortress.com. Uh -huh. um, I never received logins for the other one for the seniorsbyhudson.com. So um, if you could send me one with uh, for the new Gmail that I created, um, it's Hudson. Let me share my screen. It's Hudson. You know, it's your main website, Hudson Portraits instead of dot com dot SEO at Gmail dot com. And if. If, if you like, I can connect to your end and do that myself, if you prefer. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I forwarded that on to Josh. He didn't get that to you, huh? Let me see. Uh, it did not. If it did, it didn't. I mean, it could, he may have emailed it to me, but I didn't get it to. I still can't log in using that email address. So one second. Josh. Let's connect to your end and let me see if I can get what I need. Um, so regarding the, the your main website, actually all the same websites have the same issue. Um, they are being slowed down pretty dramatically by uh, the slider. Um, so we could move the slider to YouTube or we need to reduce the size of it um, at least a little bit. So um, let me bring up this, this speed report and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, um, Hudson. Uh, so we have this this one video here that's ten megabytes large, which is the vid which is the uh, you know the video at the in the top of the header. Okay. So um, what we should do is get this either moved into YouTube or in general, it just you know it shouldn't be we shouldn't be using your server to load you know this super large video. So is um is could we do it in Vimeo? Um, so this is a question for a web designer. Uh, I know you can use YouTube. I know you can use Vimeo. Um, I just don't know how to do it myself. <laughs> okay. Um, who, who think... made the website for you? Does that matter? Sorry, say it again. Does it, does it matter, matter whether it's Vimeo or YouTube? YouTube? It doesn't really matter. Just that we don't want it hosted by your server. And it should okay. be, it should be going through Vimeo or going through YouTube because then you're using their servers, which are really nice. Okay. Yeah, I think the um, the issue was back when we were doing that, the the quality level of YouTube was pretty bad, and me being kind of a stickler on that kind of stuff, I wanted you know, better quality, but I, maybe YouTube is. Yeah. I mean, we can do Vimeo. I have no problem with that right now. It's just, uh, you know, your website shouldn't be larger than two megabytes and that Vimeo and that video alone is 10 megabytes. So that's five times your, like what the entire website should be in one, in one file. Okay. So I think we can use Vimeo. Let's, um, did you have a web designer that I could maybe talk to? Cause uh, this is a little bit above my, you know, well, Carlos is the one who did that one. Okay. Um, I was looking through Vid uh, Divi myself, and I found an article that kind of explains how to do it. Um, but it was, you know, I didn't want to mess anything up. So, uh, Carlos, well, should I just okay. forward that wanna, article over to you? If you want to send a, a link to the article, I'd love to read it. Okay. All right. I'll send that over. Um, Bruce, go ahead and share your screen. 
share my screen. Mm -hmm. It said that you. Oh, let me turn on. Yeah, go ahead and try it again. Okay. What do you want me to put it on? Uh, screen one, screen two. It should be in the top left corner. Okay, request your remote control. Uh, do you have a login for this one? Seniorsbyhudson.com. Um, sure. Carlos got it. Yeah. Oh, Carlos got it. Okay. I'm gonna see if Sorry, I would have had these things available. Um... And you and you can email these to me later. This one specifically, um, you can definitely. Okay. No problem. Me. Uh, let's see. Let's go through Google My Business. I do have a little bit of homework for you, Bruce. Um, I found some broken links on the website. So I wanted to um, just make sure you were aware of those. Uh, let's go to the first one. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> so I was going through your videos and I sorted them by views. And then I started to add backlinks to the website, you know, just links to your website. So you can see the first line for each one of these is a link. Um, the first one at the top, the family portrait photography. And I changed the titles a little bit to put in more keywords and just to fill them out. Um, so this one, you can see the very first line is to the family page on the website. So um, let me bring up my, there's a couple of uh, broken links that I found in there that I, I fixed some of them, but there's other pages that are just missing altogether. And I wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. Um, let me bring up the list. So the, one of the ones that I found that was missing was I think in this first video actually, uh, there's this link here, HudsonPortraits. Uh, you know, dot com. You, that was the old site. Yeah. So probably just make it go HudsonPortraits. dot com. Okay, just the homepage. Yeah. So in a lot of cases, I was able to put a redirect and from what was the old one to the new one. But this was one of those examples where um, it just didn't exist. Okay. So not only was there not a children page, but I tried searching the whole website for children, and it didn't. Uh, there was no children. So I, know, I don't, I I don't just, do that many kids anymore. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that you were okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so for the most part, I got redirects in for most of them. Um, there are a couple, the other pages that were missing was you had a spring page. Uh, so if we go down further, you will have the fall portrait of ideas, right? Right. And you had, I fixed, this was also just the old website. So I put in the new link, but, um, you don't have the other, uh, the other, I don't know how to put it, the other seasons in there. And you definitely had them before. So, um, yeah, Josh usually changes those, um, during the season. So like if, if we're doing like a, a Cannon beach portrait safari or portraits in the leaves or whatever, he'll post a video and then usually put a link to a landing page on the website. Mm -hmm. But sometimes 
you know, he just doesn't update them or change them. Okay. Yeah. So that's what's happening here is we had a couple links to the old website. And for the most part, I was able to redirect most of them into the, into the newer versions that were existing. But okay. the couple that weren't there that I had to add was the, was the other, was the other seasons. You had the fall page, but you didn't have summer, spring or winter. And in all three cases, you have multiple videos linking to those uh, seasons without a landing page. So okay. what I ended up doing was I duplicated the one that you did have, with, which is fall portraits, you know, um, to the other uh, to the other seasons. So you now have, you know, spring portraits, you have summer portraits and whatever. But the thing is, it's still using the same imagery as the fall portraits page and yeah. it's still using for the most part the same text. I just swapped out, you know, fall for summer or fall yeah. for spring. Well, what we're going to have to do is swap out the um, the images, obviously, so they match the, you know, the uh, the copy. Okay. So if these pages are, you know, if this, if this, these kinds of concepts are still important to you, I think just, you know, you need 300, 400 words to kind of fill these out um, with some unique text and, and of course, swap the images. Um, we have a student raising her hand. Okay, go ahead. Um, I think what Josh generally does is he builds a brand new page. He makes the other page takes it out of the menu. So is he, is that creating problem to have these pages that are obviously searchable or crawlable, but they aren't live on the site. And so they're dated their last fall, their last spring. I just think that generally he has just kind of a stockpile of pages that he doesn't refresh yeah. only and maybe yeah. until Cannon Beach comes back or something like that. Is that confusing for us? Well, you just never want a broken link where there was a link on the internet, someone clicked on it, it goes to your website, you get a 404. That's not yeah. good for SEO. No, no, never um, did. In general, uh, you shouldn't delete pages without redirecting them. A lot of it, uh, if you're not getting traffic to a page, then it doesn't really matter. But if there, okay. if it is getting traffic and then people start not finding what they're looking for by clicking on the links on a traffic that's getting, you know, on a page that's getting traffic, that's where Google will start to penalize you for it. Right. So, um, in general, you have, especially if, so fall, you can see that you guys have a ton of fall content. So I've, I'm going to finish putting in the fall portraits page through the rest of them. But you also have the same thing. You have a bunch of winter ones. You have a bunch of spring ones and then um, summer ones without that landing page. Or So not spring. So spring might be the one that you don't have. But you have two events in spring that you target, which was, I think, the seniors thing and then... Um, I had it here for a second, right? So you have the school picture day and then the weddings and engagements. So um, you had SEO for spring at some point, but that page disappeared. So I think we okay. should get back in, yeah. The spring one is probably the least important because you don't have the videos to back it up. You have a lot of summer and winter videos. Okay. Um, another example is holiday. You guys used to have a holiday page and you used to rank for it, but I don't see it really anymore. Um, you have these kind of e-commerce pages that pop up instead. So this one is your store page, um, right? You can see backslash store here, but the okay. title of the page is holiday photography and photos class deal deals near me. So it helps you to rank for holiday photography and photo class. I'm just not sure it is what, um, you know, uh, you, oh yeah, you know, there's a lot of holiday stuff that we could target. It's good SEO. So if you have okay. a list of holidays you want to target, we need to create a holiday landing page and link that holiday landing page to all the different holidays that you want to target. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, normally we have, um, we promote doing, you know, sessions during the holidays while people are home together. Yeah. So I know he's done that, that before. Um, <laughs> Yeah, in home and on location are also two keywords that I think I'm not sure we, whether we target and you do both, right? So you probably want to, I know I've seen it in your videos where you have in home in the title. So we don't, you know, we don't have an in home page on the website or an on location. And the on location one is a good one to do because this, I know that you've mentioned, especially on your home page that you and in some of your videos that you service Seattle, Tacoma, and um, Bellevue, well, I'm, we should create landing pages for those main areas. Right, Seattle, that's what your website ranks for. 
Uh, Renton, I've done a lot of Renton optimizations recently. Any um, content that you have that didn't have a location, con, you know, a keyword in there, I've added Renton in there for the most part. So you're going to rank for Renton pretty quickly because it's also not as competitive as the other areas. But let's see uh, Bellevue and Tacoma. So, you know, we, we don't have a Bellevue landing page and we don't have a Tacoma landing page. We should create those, I think. You know, pr pretty much all the cities that you want results for. And, and on the home page, you mentioned, uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. Seattle, Renton, Kent, Tukwila, or Maple Valley. Maple Valley would be a really easy one to rank for. It's got a, a very lo low competition. You should be able to show up for that very quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if Tukwila was the, and Kent were similar. Kent's kind of a larger area, so. But let, let's just see if you have, you know, if we have any Tequila pages. Nope. So this, um, I've changed a t uh, some of the titles on your website to have Renton in them. Okay. Um, so this will change soon. Right now it shows you as not ranking in Renton, but. For, again, all the pages that didn't have a location keyword already in there, I use Renton. Uh, wait. Seattle. So the homepage, you know, you, you reference Seattle a ton on the homepage and plenty of other pages. So Seattle, we rank pretty well for. But still, I don't see Seattle in any of our titles. So same thing. We might want to create a Seattle landing page. And, you know, for, so for you, the, the, this, um, if you could maybe just pick two or three clients from every area that you could reference, you know, we can kind of create case study articles around those and then link those back to your location landing pages, right? So That'd be good. this is client number one in Bellevue, client number two in Bellevue, client number three in Bellevue, and those three pages link back to the, the Bellevue photography, photographer landing page. Awesome. Sounds so yeah, great. on the on the website, you know, the main thing I'm focused on right now in the beginning is just fixing your titles and making sure that, um, you know, the website communicates with YouTube correctly, can it com communicates with Facebook correctly. Um, I guess we don't have a login here, do we? You want to log in for that one as well? Yeah, can I, I'm, I'm going to try to, I don't know if I you put the one for the senior, remote. I put the ones for the seniors in, uh, in the chat. Okay in a chat but i will go get the other one okay i'll be right back Yeah, there's a different um, password than that one. Uh, this is this one not for look, I mean, if you look farther down the text, I put that in and it didn't work. So I went oh, okay, back okay, to the yeah. right one. Yeah, I see. Sorry that. about that. T. Okay, you're in there. Okay. okay. So you're in the Hudson Portrait one. I see that. I'm in the wrong one right now, but okay, no I, can, I can create my user account while I'm in here. Okay.
And I also put in the chat, I don't know if this really matters, but um, in searching for the seniors, uh, it comes up on Yelp, which obviously a lot of stuff does, but it says that this re this location is closed. So unfortunately, I don't know how much impact those sorts of things have that he closed his location. He's obviously still in business. He just changed his location. Yeah, let's get, we'll get um, it fixed. It, I mean, it depends on how much business you were getting through Yelp previously. Uh, the SEO, well, I, it doesn't get yeah, I don't know. too much, but it's definitely but better. But if it shows, you know, if people are, you know, got the habit yep. of looking at Yelp. Yeah, and exactly. It when you it, it, it's not good. Okay. Okay, so I also created a commercial page. That's another thing. Um, you had YouTube videos that were linking to a commercial page that lived on this website previously, right. but doesn't exist anymore. Right. So um, I understand you guys have different websites, but it can only help you to rank for commercial on this website because any SEO sure. that you then get for it, and this is maybe the oldest website you have, which means it has a better chance of kind of picking up steam, um, that, that you know, you can then redirect people to that second website of yours and kind of, you know, sure. uh, get the second website to rank a little bit faster using this one. So sure. same thing. Uh, we need more, we need unique words. Like as of now, I just went in there and changed all the family photography to commercial photography. So this page, actually, yeah, that's not true. I use ChatGPT to throw in some unique text here, but. Okay. For the most part, you know, we, we want to rewrite this, I'm guessing, um, or at least look it over. Sure. Change so up. what yeah. what page is that? Uh, commercial. Okay. But we have a, I mean, if we have a redirect to yeah. the but so, like, again, to so the This, can, this site, can only right? be helpful for you by ranking on this website. Um, again, the, the, your primary goal is not to get leads to this website for commercial, but since this website's older than the other ones, it has more SEO than the other ones, um, its starting point for commercial is going to be higher. So on, on your second website, you may be like on the fourth page of Google, you may start on the third page of Google here, and then you can point this page, you can link to your other website. It can only help you really is, is what I'm saying. Um, and you definitely rank on your web, this website, HudsonPortraits.com already for commercial because you had links that were to a page that existed in the past, but doesn't exist anymore. So, um, uh, you know, either, you know, either write some content for this or I'll just put in redirects so that anybody that lands on this page will automatically go to the next website. Well, I mean, what what's your suggestion to have both? I think you should have both. I think you would want, you know, 300 or 400 words on this website this will help you to rank for this keyword and get show up in searches. And then we can redirect to a page on your website that says, um, you know, uh, if you were looking for Hudson Portraits design and you, you've landed now at this other website, right? This is where we do all the commercial stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, again, part of the question here is just that you had a bunch of videos in there with links to the old website. And either we want to, um, the, the idea here is that we recover the SEO that we would have lost by those pages be just disappearing. So, gotcha. um, but if you want, we could just as easily, I could make this page redirect into that other website altogether. It's really just a matter of whether you want to do the writing or not. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, we are recording this. So we'll, we'll have all our notes, all our, yeah. Okay. So like, like just, you know, uh, and we, we can even recycle the content from the other page from right. the other website if you wanted to. Um, because one way or the other, I'm going to be putting, um, so there's redirects is where if someone landed on this page, it would automatically move them to your other website. But what we can also do is put in canonical URLs, which just tells Google 
that the page that you want the majority of the SEO pointed to is that other website. And that's what I, I think we're gonna probably do. So in here you can go to advanced and then this is where I would link to your other website. So any SEO you get to this page will be redirected to that other, to, to the other one you have. I mean, it has been going to our old commercial site, right? The redirect. Um, if you go to, um, right, keep going right there, visit our commercial website. That's our old one. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's the way it's set up right now. Let me real quickly, I haven't actually looked at this website yet, SEO wise, because you showed me the test site that you guys were gonna launch. Yeah. And I didn't wanna do any SEO on something that was gonna be replaced anyways. Let me go and check out how, what this one looks like right, real quick. So um, let's see. So, let me get now. It's hard to tell. Um, so that, that is actually a pretty important question right now. So you know how you have all these different websites? Yeah. Um, these websites are only really useful to you if you can update them every once in a while. So I think an, an important thing for us to do would to be kind of figure out what your that schedule should look like. You know, so it's kind of a question of priority. Um, you know, so like the minimum really I normally recommend is updating the website once a month. So that's like one blog post once a month. So, you know, as it is right now, that would be four blog posts for you, right? Because you have four different websites. Um, is that something you could manage or are even interested in? Is kind of the question. Um, I mean, if you had to... Creating content. Um, I mean, and a, a blog post could be a video also. Yeah, blog posts can be a video. It, you can also use ChatGPT, really. Um, ideally, the content is unique. You get rewarded a lot more for unique content. Um, but at the end of the day, something is better than nothing. So updating your website with ChatGPT is, is, is much better than doing nothing. Yeah, I mean, creating the content, because um, we do a lot of, as you've seen, a lot of behind the scenes um, type of videos or even, you know, just doing a, a senior portrait session and then just taking those images and creating an Animoto video is, mm -hmm. I mean, Josh can do that in minutes. Yeah. And, but I guess it's just knowing, you know, I guess that goes on YouTube, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then redirecting it back to that website. Is that the way it works? Yeah, well, for every video that you make, you have a description area and you want right. to put a link to your website in the area. Yeah. Right. And he's he's been doing that, I'm assuming. He has, yes. Okay. So I mean, yeah, to to do one per and that's that's minimum. I mean, if we did more, it would be even better, correct? Yes. Um, so something to keep in mind is you guys he he's been pretty you guys have been pretty consistent in your posting to the YouTube channel, right? You got uh, August 6th, September 9th, November 
almost monthly, you know, with a couple gaps here and there. But the website side of it is not happening. Um, you know, if you go and look at the posts in here, you don't have any blog posts at all. Um, right, the last one was published in 2019. If we look at your pages, um, we go to dates, right? Um, I, I duplicated these ones, so you can ignore these ones. But, you know, the, uh, you know, these are all the ones I created. The last one was, you know, six in 2021. Okay. So yes, making videos on the website is better than nothing, but you definitely need more writing for the website in general. More what? This is for your main website that we're talking about. And I'm guessing that the other websites are, are lacking in activity even more. So uh, why am I not? So I mean, when you, when you say a blog, does it have to be a written blog or it can be a, a video? Um, you, you need writing at some point. Writing? Yeah. Okay. Google sees activity on your YouTube channel and it's going to consider that for your YouTube channel, but it's going to look at your website also and see a complete lack of activity on your website. It's going to hold that against you as well. They're okay. considered completely separate. I mean, they work, they can work together, but they're considered separate categories, right? Your activity on your website is, is definitely very important still, whether you make videos or not. Okay. So the, the blog can have, or I, I heard that getting a transcript or is there a way to get a transcript from the video? Oh yeah. And yeah. Make that a, a blog also. Yes. So uh, YouTube will automatically transcribe your videos for you. Um, and we can usually, it needs to be edited and, you know, you can export that transcript and, but then it needs to be cleaned up because people yeah. will, will stutter or you, you know, say, um, this, that right in between what they're saying. Um, but yes, transcribing your videos is actually absolutely an option. Or this rev. Yeah. So if you're, if, like you said, if you, if you're spending the time to make videos, we can get your, the audio transcribed. You're just going to have to pay someone to clean it up or, you know, get someone to clean it up. Okay. Most of them are really short anyway. So. Okay. So actually that, so that, that gets, so that's helpful for me. So one of the next things I need to do is I need to start running YouTube ads on your videos. Need to what? Uh, start running YouTube ads on your videos. Okay. And I don't know which videos to run ads on. So um, the important part to this. Uh, so, you know, I, what I did was the first thing was I sorted by views. This shows me the videos, you know, that have gotten the most views, have the most SEO under them. So I've been adding links to this so that any SEO that these videos have accumulated points back to your website. Um but a lot of these videos are kind of old, you know, November 16th, 2009, 2009. Um, if we play this video. It was like a brand new show. Putting our uh, records together would have taken so much longer. You will truly be amazed. You know, we're, we're paying for five second skippables, right? So like that ad that just played at the five second, second mark, someone can skip the ad, right? It's important that these videos open up with a call to action. Um, so that if the person who's watching YouTube at the moment needed a photographer, you know, they're going to stick around to watch the video. Um, a lot of these videos that are older, just they open up very slowly. So a newer version of the video would be nice, or okay. we can add an intro to the videos and re-upload them. Um, I just need to get an idea of which of the videos you want to promote more or are good to promote immediately or which ones we need to work on a little bit, essentially. You know, okay, so this well, video... the, the one, um, yeah, that's really old. <laughs> yeah. um, the one right below it, the testimonials, uh, where was it? So, so I, um, let me, let me go back to this. So on the website, you had videos here. One yeah. of them was on Vimeo. And I took, yeah, I found it on your YouTube channel and I just replaced them. I could swap that back if you want me to let me know that. But this one was, ho this one in this spot was hosted directly from the website. So I took the video and uploaded it to the YouTube channel and then embedded it with, um, with YouTube. Okay. So, uh, if we sort by date, I think that's what you're talking about. This one that's important yeah. testimonials. Okay. So I, yeah, I wanted to run ads on that one. That one opens up really cleanly with you saying, you know, I'm Bruce Hudson. Here's some yeah. testimonials about my clients. So that, that was a good one. Um, but in general, if you want to look through your YouTube channel, 
Um, and just kind of let me know which ones I can run ads on or which ones you like that we can create an intro for. Um, we should start running YouTube ads sooner or later. And also, um, is it okay for me to move any videos that are on the YouTube channel, but not on the Facebook page over to the Facebook page? Sure. Okay. I just want to make sure it's timely, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll schedule, since we'll be meeting again within the next week, I'll schedule them out for two weeks. So we get a chance to prove them in the next meeting before they go out. Okay. Okay. Um, is there a way to get a transcription of this recording? Yeah. Once I upload it to YouTube, it should, it'll automatically generate a transcription in a day or two. So. You mean of this Zoom call, right? Yeah, of this Zoom call. Okay. Um, so where would we find it? You said upload it to YouTube. I'll, I'll upload it to YouTube and email you a link. Okay. Okay. Uh, so something that's a little bit weird is I try to put in redirects already. And for some reason, the plugin isn't working. And I've now recognized, I've seen this kind of issue happen twice on the website. So um, this is a plugin I installed, redirection plugin. And I've installed, you know, I put in some redirects uh -huh. for pages that I found that were in the YouTube channel, um, like this bio one and families one. But for some reason, it's not working. And um, so my question for you was, who was the web designer? Is that, and the Carla, was that you? That Looks like she slept website? away. She had to go. Okay, that's fine. Um, but I think you've answered that. Carla is the web designer, right? Right. Web designer. I mean, um, <clears throat> when we update stuff, Josh is kind of going in there and updating, you know, when I can't get a hold of Carla. Yeah. So I think there's some there I think there's something going wrong with the website and I can't figure out what it is. So um, let me try this one more time. Oh no, it might have just been a cache issue. Hold on a second. Looks like it's working now. Okay, good, great. That makes. I was afraid of that. All right, that was just a temporary issue. You can ignore that. Okay, AdWords. Let's do Google My Business from your end. Um, go ahead and share your screen one more time. Yeah, I'm just, um, I mean, we're we're getting fairly close to launching the new one. I'm not sure if you really need to tweak the old one. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it'd be better for once you launch the new one, working on that one. Um, it just depends on how different the two websites are. If they're relatively similar, then I can work on the old one and it redirects most of the work into the new one. But if they're pretty different, then I might as well just work on the new one when it comes out. Okay. Uh, business. Huh. This might be a Carla thing, huh? What's that? Uh, the Google My Business for the seniors. Oh, let me see something. So if we take the the banner video that you're talking about um, and put it on YouTube, will YouTube automatically compress it down so it's faster or how does that work? Yeah, they do. They do a little bit of compressing. Yes. Um, so yeah, you know, if, if you want Vimeo, I have no problem with, in this case, it's just a matter of, you don't want to be hosting the video from your server because our, you know, you're not spending thousands of dollars a month on the nicest, newest computers. 
Um, so that one video can really slow things down. So we can, Vimeo is perfectly fine. We just, we need to move it from your server to Vimeo. Okay. Yeah. yeah and once again, it was mainly just the quality level. Okay. Back in the early days of YouTube, it just, the quality was so bad. I'm going, and I forget, we were working with a different company at the time when we first did it. Okay, this is why I couldn't find it. You guys probably don't have one, huh? Have one what? Have a, um, a Google My Business for the seniors by Hudson. And this isn't closed, right? This is open, so we should fix this. No, right? well. I think this is what Carla was talking about, wasn't it? It's, where is it showing? Oh, yeah, that's the old studio. That's the old down by Chuck Willa. Mm-hmm. So that that one is closed. But you're essentially it's moved to your new location, right? Yeah. yeah. But even like the directions and even oh, the. Yeah. But w w once we claim this, we can update the address. OK, yeah. And change the phone number and stuff. Yeah. And change all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and you don't have any reviews in here, so it's not really necessary, but. Might as well. Okay, I'll look into this, do this later. Uh, I mean, can we change that right now? I'm gonna have to claim it first before we can change it. Okay. So uh, in the next call. Uh, so this is similar to my thing earlier. Like it's a good idea to have separate websites if you update them regularly. Yeah. And that's, so that's, that's still, I think, an important thing to do. Um, we should kind of create a schedule for each website. So I'm guessing for Hudson Portraits Design, since it's your main website, we should do once a month. I really highly recommend that. That's basically the bare minimum. Uh, for the other ones, it's more up to you what level of consistency you're comfortable with, whether it's two months, three months. But um, updating monthly would be ideal. But, you, you know, whatever it is, you want to be consistent with it. So once every two months we can start with, and then once you've got like six posts scheduled into the future, you can update, you know, you can uh, up the consistency. But I think it's important at this point, just let's do monthly for your main site, maybe bi-monthly for your other three sites and well, try to work I mean, within that. Yeah, I, I want to do it more than that. Okay, um, so just kind of give me a scale of like uh, one to five, how important each website is um five for the main website yeah so once a month at least for that one yeah uh i and i'm when you're saying up update i mean can we even just go in and update the photographs or you want yes 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 anything anything any updates to the website is considered activity so yes it doesn't have to be text okay ideally though you do want to do text like it doesn't have to be every two months right you get an update every two months but you're going to want to at least you know, maybe every four months, some text, right? So, I mean, we don't have like a blog page. So it, would it be something that we would change on a specific, say like with, um, like go to the senior page, I guess. Okay. Well, how about this? How, how about this? Because um, if you can just tell me what frequency you want to match, so this is also a five, do you, th you think, for this website? You want to put as much effort into this as the main one? Yeah, I would say five on all of them, except for the... Um... Oh, you can't... Last... So here's the thing. Is you don't want to do five on all of them. Um, let's pick one or two to prioritize over the rest of them. Because, you know, right now, otherwise the homework, the homework right now is going to be right four blog posts, one for each website. Okay, but that's, I mean, that... If you can do that, let's do it then. It's It's easy. It's... Okay. So I would say, yeah, the main site of five. Okay. Um, senior four, commercial three. Okay. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blog post using ChatGPT for all three of those. 
So the main site, the senior site, and then the commercial site. And then we'll go over those in the, in the next meeting. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna send you your writing homework and also the recording to this video to you in an email, okay? Okay. Yeah. And then let's see, I need AdWords. It's the last thing for today. the Google My Business. Okay, so Google the Google My Business thing, similar similar to the writing homework, if they're important to you, you're going to want to create a separate Google My Business for them. Um, and I would not, I would recommend not doing them for all four. You know, I do one at a time. So should I make one for the seniors? Because I don't think you have one. Yeah. Okay, we'll do seniors next. And then we can do commercial after that. Okay. All right. Um, remind me, do you have a Google Ads account? What's that? Do you have a Google Ads account? Uh, I believe Josh does, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll email Josh then to get the access for that. Okay. Yeah, he's in Arizona right now. Okay. Um, so you'll probably get a uh, hey, I'm out of town kind of thing, but okay. it would be good, um, a reminder for him. Okay, I'll do that. Um, it, do you think he'll get back to me or is it going to be like, I'm going to have to wait a week before he'll be available? Um, I'll, I'll text him like right now, say that you're going to try to get a hold of him. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Sounds good. Uh... Let's get some new reviews in your Google My Business. Um, the last review was almost two years ago, 2021. So it'd be really nice to get some new ones in there. For, um... for the main one, for your main one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So let me, oh, I wish I had Carla on for this. I'm just gonna email Carla about this stuff, I guess. Okay. Yep, I have everything I need for today. So um, I'm going to email you your writing homework as well as a recording of our meeting today. Okay. And then let's get another meeting on the calendar for next week. Or do you want to, you need to talk to Carla first, right? No, let, yeah, let's do next week. Um, I'm pretty much wide open right now, Tuesday through Friday next week. So pick your time. I can stop share, right? Yeah. Let's see, those are all your tabs up there, right? Um, I'm trying to find my calendar. Oh, wait, there's calendar, okay. That was Monday. Uh, Monday is the only day that I, I'm pretty, I have a bunch of meetings. So the other days I'm pretty much wide open. Okay. How about, um, how about 11 on Tuesday? Okay. okay. I'll email you and Carla. Okay, I just sent that off. All right, perfect. Um, so I'll get this uh, recording sent over to you. It's going to be an hour or two because you know YouTube has to process the video. Perfect. And I'll send you your writing homework in the same email with that link. Okay.
Have you uh, signed up for ChatGPT yet? Remind me. Yeah, I I believe I did. Let me. Um... If you could email me your login when you have that as well, that would be great. That way, any you know any content I create for you using ChatGPT can be all organized in the same place. Let me go there. Uh, give me, I'll be right back. Give me one minute, two minutes. Back. It'd be it would be an icon, right? On my um if you can go to chat.openai.com is the URL. That's I thought I did. Hold on. So open AI.com? Uh, Chat.openai.com. Well, there's a lot of... Uh... links <laughs> you want to share your screen i can maybe help yeah Let's see, request remote control. I'm sorry. I feel like an idiot whenever I'm around you. Uh, do you know if you, does this look familiar? Did you sign up already? I thought I did. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, go ahead and put in your email. Well, he, so here's the thing is um, when you sign up, they have these options. So use your Google account, Microsoft account, Apple account. You do not want to use those options. Okay. Because then you won't be able to share access with me. You know, I would have to have your Google login to be able to, 
to log in that way. And then once you, and also once you make the, the accounts that way, you can't you can't change it, which is really annoying. Uh. Okay. Um, Could it be? I, I, I think you do have a login. Let me get, get you the password. It was saved into my browser because in my laptop. Uh, let me find it. That is posh. Three, three, five, six. Hudson. Or Hudson portraits. Want me to do it? Yeah. And the password is posh3356 with a capital P. With a what? Capital P, yeah. Yep, capital P. Yeah. I miss her. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so uh, save the password, right? Oh. Yep, go ahead and save the password. Just did. And then any, you know, any content I make for the website, I'll be using this account to generate it. Okay. So you, you can kind of, you know, keep track. All right. Um, so I, can, I go in there and I can play around. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, uh, this was the one I did today on my account. Uh, I'll move it over right now. But, you know, I was like, uh, right, service page content for a commercial photographer in Renton, Washington. Jesus Christ. So um, something, a, a couple of tricks to think with when you're thinking about this is there's really three prompts you should be thinking about that turn into keywords. What are you talking about? You know, that's like your main search term. Who are you talking to? That's your target audience. That's how you turn your main search term into a slightly longer variation, long tail keyword. And then why they should pick you over your competitor is really just you know uh, more long tail keyword op uh, opportunities. So, so uh, what you said? What who? The what? The who and the why. You know the what? Who are you talking? The, the you know the what is what are you talking about? Who are you talking to? And then why should they care? You know, why should they pick you over, over a competitor? So, so did you take some of this from our site? So, sorry, say it again. Did you take some of like our services that's from our site? No, or? no, this is, this is from chat GPT. You know, it's, you just tell it what to do and it writes out something for you. Um, but my, my thought process was more like, um, you know, who, who's your ideal business? You know, what's a great commercial, what's a great business? You know, you like headshots, right? Um, uh, what kind of business gets headshots? Why, why do realtors need professional headshots? You know, but the, the, you know, the why, the what and the why are very often good things to put in your prompts for chat GPT because it can help you know, make whatever it spits out more specific. You can see how this would make a great blog post, right? Why do, re why do realtors need professional headshots? Um, so I guess my question is with, when it comes to the blog, mm -hmm. are we building a page on the website that is just gonna be a series of blogs? 
Yeah, you're going to have a blog page that's yeah, basically okay. a list of posts. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think we have that. Yeah, I, I've actually created the blog post page for you. Okay. Um, we just need to create posts that will fill it up. Okay. No. And then, I mean, as far as testimonials, we have testimonials on the website, but you were saying that we need those on Google. Yeah, yeah let me show you business.google.com. For some reason, it looks like you don't have access. Let me see if I can send it to you. I'll get Carla to send it to you if, if I can't. Uh, business.google.com. Oh yeah, so that I have to I have to contact Carla for this first. So I'll email Carla, get that resolved, and then I'll email you what to do next regarding reviews. But okay. I'll just I'm going to send you a link that you can share with people. You can even put it in your email signature. You know, at the uh, I you know you have a pretty pretty cool email signature already. So yeah. you could even add you know leave us a review, put you know and click on the link. Okay. All right. Um, I'll I'll make sure to email you about that as soon as I get the access from Carla. Okay, and I'll I'll text Josh right now and have him um, respond to your. I mean, he's got an auto responder going right now, so he, but he should be able to see your. Okay. Your email, correct? Yep. I'll send him an email about the Google Ads uh, in like an hour. Okay. Okay, and I'll CC you on it as well. Okay. Well, thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. You're phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, absolutely amazing. Thanks. My head spins every time. <laughs> uh -huh. Try to keep up, you know. Oh my gosh, I feel like that whenever I have to do taxes <laughs> or government websites. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Payroll <laughs> or any number of things. All right. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. So I'll, I'll email you on the rest of this and I'll send you a link to this recording later today. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. All right. See you on Wednesday. Okay.